It may not be just an idle threat. The world's top search engine Google may well be leaving China for good. Last week, the company says it could no longer abide by the censorship rules it promised to obey when Google.cn was launched just four years ago. Within hours of the announcement, Google appeared to be defying Chinese censors, displaying results for sensitive topics that were previously banned in China. Flowers have been laid outside Google's Beijing offices in a mock funeral for the company. Even if they were to try and stay, they're in a pretty tough spot now. So it really looks like uh, they have decided they're going to pull out. The announcement came after Google discovered that it was the target of cyber attacks aimed at accessing the Google email accounts of China's human rights activists. Google says the attacks can be traced back to China, though it stopped short of actually blaming the Chinese government directly. But how will leaving China stop the attacks? It won't. It has nothing to do with it. I think that this, is, this might have just been the catalyst. This is the, sort of the final issue that um, pushed them over the edge. Google's journey in China hasn't always been smooth. Last year in June, China criticized Google for allowing pornographic links to appear in its search results. Later that year, its former China chief Li Kaifu quit the search giant to start his own company. And in October, Google was accused of allegedly infringing copyright laws by scanning millions of books without permission. I think they just realized that the China opportunity uh, idea or, or concept is not actually as uh, great as the problems of trying to run their business here. And for them, it's just not worth, the, it's not worth the headache, it's not worth the brand risk. And frankly, for some of the people, they probably now say they can sleep better at night. But some say the Chinese market is too big for Google to ignore. China is the world's biggest internet population with more than 380 million users and counting. Some commentators have argued that Google knows it's lost the battle with China's market leader, Baidu.com, and is using the censorship issue as an ingenious excuse to flee the market, having failed their investors and shareholders. I know many people feel it's a pity that Google plans to leave, but the Chinese market is different from other markets in the world. There are lots of restrictions in China, which has made it hard for Google to develop smoothly. But if Google does disappear from China, it will be missed most by sophisticated white-collar web users who typically preferred Google.cn to Baidu, as well as by advertisers catering to this affluent market. An estimated 60% of Google users in China are college-educated. I prefer to use Google because its search range is broader and it includes some foreign websites. Baidu provides more domestic information. I use Google when I can't find information from Baidu. Google is just like a supplement, and I don't think there will be a big difference if it leaves. The Chinese government responded to Google's announcement that it welcomes foreign firms doing business in China as long as they abide by Chinese laws. And it's because of that many are saying Beijing is not likely to back down, leaving Google with a big decision. How can the Chinese government possibly back down? Because if they back down to Google, how are they not back down to Baidu, Tencent, Sina, all these other companies, I think they underappreciated the Internet. They don't underappreciate it anymore, and they clearly have embarked on a campaign to uh, regain uh, ideological control. But if Google does leave China, Bishop says those left behind would cope. Its loyal users could use proxy servers to navigate the Great Firewall. Google's Chinese partners like Sina and China Mobile are perhaps the least discussed members of the ongoing situation, and many of them were taken by surprise by Google's sudden announcement. But if Google does withdraw, those firms can always find another partner. Those who stand to gain are Google's domestic competitors like Baidu, Tencent and Microsoft Bing. Even though there are worries that a healthy source of innovation and competition will be removed from the marketplace. Much has been made of Google's moral stance with its don't be evil founding principle at odds over its censorship concessions. But whether or not Google goes on to achieve long-term success in China, this whole episode could simply be a footnote in years to come along the road of the ever-changing Chinese media landscape. Google is Google. It's a great service. But you know what? We were alive before. We lived before Google. We can live after Google, right? I mean, so it's not the end of the world, although I think it, it may change some, some of those people's perceptions about why there are these certain rules around the Internet. Sylvia Gunawan, BON.